Alright, what's going on guys? Rising here and today I'm bringing you guys the best AE4 class setup within Advanced Warfare. The AE4 is a new DLC weapon within Advanced Warfare for the Season Pass holders on the Xbox. Definitely make sure you get on today and get your AE4 and the AE4 Widowmaker. The AE4 is a fully automatic directed energy weapon and like I said, you get the AE4 Widowmaker which is a variant of the AE4 and you get plus one accuracy and minus one fire rate but in my opinion I cannot tell a difference between the Widowmaker and the AE4. It could just be a glitch in the game or it could just be me but like I said I can't tell a difference. Now attachments are all personal preference but what I like to use is the Red Dot Foregrip and Heat Sink. If you like to use stock definitely just take off Foregrip and use stock but you definitely want to go ahead and use Red Dot and Heat Sink. Red Dot is going to give you a clean, clear view down range to be able to pick people off at further distances. Full Grip is going to allow you to stay on target easier. It's going to reduce the vertical recoil. And Heat Sink is definitely the go-to attachment for the AE4. You're only allowed to shoot around 15 shots with the AE4. And I'm going to put up a side-by-side -side view of with Heat Sink and without so you guys can get a feel on what it is without and with Heat Sink. But Heat Sink is definitely the best attachment to run on the AE4. Now for perks, I like to run low profile. If you don't want to run low profile, then definitely just go ahead and use lightweight. But the only reason I run low profile is for the threat detection UAV. It's not for the ping, it's just for the threat detection because I don't want to be seen through walls. And I know you're not using a silent weapon, but the low profile is just the way that I like to run because of the threat detection. And we're only going to be using one perk too, and that's going to be blind eye. Seeing that the update brought 100 points to kill in domination, it's a lot easier to get streaks, and you definitely don't want to be dying to any warbirds or paladins. We're going to be using two perk threes, and that's going to be toughness and blast suppressor. Toughness is going to reduce your flinch when shot, and blast suppressor is going to keep you off the radar whenever you use exo moves. You don't need scavenger seeing that's a directed energy weapon because you don't need to pick up scab packs. You're going to have unlimited ammo. We're going to be using one exo ability, and that's exo overclock. Allow you to get out on the rush a lot easier. Pick up a couple of kills, maybe if you're taking shots, pop that XO overclock and run away from your opponent. It's definitely a go-to ability. For score streaks, it's all up to you, but what I like to run is the UAV and the system hack. The UAV, I put threat detection, extra time, and speed. Definitely the go-to setup for the UAV in my personal opinion. And system hack, I just like to run the plain Jane, get it at 600 points. But now we have the 13 points in our pick 13 system. This is the best AE4 class setup with an advanced warfare. If you have any questions about the class, just let me know down in the comments below, and I'll try my best to respond to as many as possible. If you thought that the video was any help to you, leave a like. It helps the channel grow in a lot of ways that you guys don't know. But it's been a pleasure to you guys, and until next time, this is Rising Out. Peace.